Hi, Bob Thompson for Smartphone Matters. In this video, I wanted to pass along a warning about USB-C cables. Now, let me just start by saying that this Belkin USB-A to USB-C charge cable that you see here in the video is perfectly fine. But I did want to pass along a warning about USB-C cables. So if you saw my previous video, I talked about how I have a Nexus 5X, which has a USB-C port on the bottom, and that the charger and cable that ship with this phone are USB-C. So here's the charger. You can see that there's a USB-C port on that and that this cable has USB-C connectors on both ends. And that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that except for that I have a ton of USB chargers at home, at work, on my desk, in my car, and I would like to be able to charge my phone using those other chargers. Well, you can't do that with the standard cable that comes with the Nexus 5X. So I went online and I ordered this Belkin USB-A to USB-C charge cable. It's a six foot cable and it has a USB-A connector on one end. And that's the type of connector that you find on most USB chargers and then the USB-C connector on the other end. I made a video about it. I thought, great. Hey, no problem. It's just a USB cable. Well, YouTuber, I tech you out guy left a comment on that video warning me that a lot of people in the Google forums were talking about problems with USB-C cables. And he was saying that people were commenting that you should only buy the USB-C cables from the Google store because those cables are known to be safe. Let me just share with you what I found out about the issue. First, the problem is not with USB-C to USB-C cables. USB-C to USB-C cables are fine. The problem is when you try to convert from USB-A to USB-C, I guess some manufacturers are not following the specifications and they're not providing the proper voltage to the USB-C port and that can damage your electronics. Now, it turns out that there was a software engineer that worked at Google that did a lot of investigation into this problem, and he's taken it upon himself to go out and test a bunch of cables. So I went and I looked on the Amazon website on the product page for this Belkin cable, and sure enough, this gentleman, Benson Leung, who is a software engineer at Google, went through and he tested this cable. And let me just paraphrase what he had to say about the Belkin cable. Belkin's USB Type-C to USB Type-A charge and sync data cable is excellent. This cable meets the USB Type-C specification, meaning it correctly identifies as default USB power as per the USB Type-C specification. He goes on to say this cable is as good as the ones that Apple and Google provide uh, with and sell on their stores as accessories. Uh, the one downside is that this cable costs $19.99, which is the same price as the Google one. Uh, the advantage of Belkin, it is not perpetually out of stock like first party cables. So uh, I did not go to the Google store. I know that they do sell cables. I'm not sure if they offer a six foot cable like this one. Regardless, it turns out that I picked a cable that is safe to use with USB-A and USB-C. So I just wanted to share that warning with you guys. If you have a Nexus 5X, a Nexus 6P, or a Pixel C, and you want to get a USB-A to USB-C cable, make sure you find one that Benson has reviewed or stick with the ones that you find in the Google Store. I'm not sure what Apple has in their store, but apparently the ones that Google sells is good. This Belkin one is good. If you can find other cables on Amazon that were reviewed by uh, Benson and he said that they meet the specification, you should be safe with those. So thanks to I Tech You Out guy for pointing that out. All right, that's going to be it for this video. If you found it useful, give us a like on YouTube. If you want to see more videos from me, subscribe to the Smartphone Matters YouTube channel. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave a reply below, or better yet, head on over to Smartphone Matters, click on the Ask button, and leave a reply there. Thanks for watching.